Much of what I'm doing right now is, is, is sort of a prophetic portal I've stepped into since I got up here. But I think I'm understanding for the first, uh, I'm understand, not for the first time, at a different level, Clay, this strategy, strat, stratia word from scripture. Because a lot of people don't know, most, many of you probably know, but the weapons of our warfare. That is a word in Greek that we get, we get the word strategy from it, but it's also a word that means apostolic uh, governorship or career. Stratia is the word. It literally means military service led by an apostle. That is a, that's a pretty good summary of the definition. So isn't it interesting that the word warfare is connected to a word that means, comes out of a word that means also apostolic strategy. So, so, so I think what God is saying to us is we can't win this war without apostolic strategy. Not just strategy. Apostolic strategy, and not just apostolic thinking or planning or training from the past, but strategy born from the Holy Spirit now. And this is, strikes me as interesting. The, the Bible in the, in the New Testament, even though there's nothing wrong with methods, the word for method is only used tri twice in the New Testament, methodia, both times negative, referring to the methods of demons wiles, schemes of the, of the enemy uh, when, we're, when we're caught in the fire or hit by a fiery dart. So he's saying methods in and of themselves do not work. When you devolve into methodology, just what you've learned in the past or great ideas and methods that you've come up with, that will not work. But apostolic strategies from heaven will work. Do you see the difference? Yes. One represents a human methodology that can become demonized and throw the church into methods as opposed to power and, the, and Holy Spirit speaking. The other, what he really wants is strategy born of the Spirit through apostolic leadership that will enable the church to war effectively. That's right. Now, is that, did I say that clearly? Because that's I've never said it that way before. I think that's a message I'm going to have to develop in the teaching. Because I think what I'm hearing God say right now is the apostolic leadership in the body of Christ is going to have to tap into that at a level they've not tapped into it yet. Amen. And if we do, and I believe we will, if we do, we will win the war. And I believe God is, I believe he's raised up a leadership that's willing to go there, to willing to do that, willing to pay whatever price they need to pay to hear. They're not caught up in the religious games and the tradition that, and the comfort zones of methods. So, so let me move into one of the things that I was, um, places I was planning to go anyway, and that is this, this word that Scott Reese sent me, which I've mentioned on the post, if you've read the post the last couple of days, and maybe being here in the conference you haven't, but this is, this is pretty fresh, pretty recent off the press, prophetic press. Scott's an apostolic leader in Illinois. And this is about alignment Amen. and adjustment. The Lord showed me the earth with a spine that completely encircles it, circles the globe, this spine. So this is an allegory, picture of the earth with a spine going around it. Certain places of the spine twisted, distorted, curved, and out of alignment. 
out of those places flow toxicities, sin, pollution of every kind. The spine, the spine is a gathering point and often a place of very intense warfare. So there's a gathering to that places on that spine where the warfare for earth is taking place. Around this spine are different strategic strongholds, i.e. abortion in America, shedding of innocent blood. That would be one of these places on the spine in America and other nations where there's a, a twisting and, an, and a, a, a disalignment. These are the sources of glo global poverty, wars, demonic strategies of bondage, perversions, slavery, abortion, crime, pornography, dominance, greed, uh, uh, greed corrupt politics, carnal religion, death. Some places along the spine are in perfect order and alignment. There's a ruling governmental authority from which the purposes of God flow and are released and decreed from. In those places, the sovereign reign and rule of God has been established by women and men of God who brought spiritual order. In those places, divine order was the result of obedience that manifested in a variety of ways or through a variety of ways intercession preaching the word evangelism prophecy apostolic authority these things brought alignment from which divine order could flow in each of those places superior air authority was established and the atmosphere over that region became secured airspace into which the demonic was not allowed to enter. Clay, I think that's literal. I think it's very literal. I don't think it's just, well, they can't influence as much. I believe it's like running into a, a, an invisible shield. That some regions are going to have been so fortified by what people have done in connection with God, with Holy Spirit, that these demons can literally, they are not able to penetrate. 